Hey everyone, I recently came across a really great technique for remeshing 2D geometry for a project that I'm working on and I thought it would be a good thing to share for everyone in case someone finds this useful. So what we're going to be doing is creating this type of topology out of a big n-gon. So to get started, what I've done is, just for demonstration purposes, I've used a vertex group around the border of this particular object and we'll just turn on our geometry nodes again and we'll come to the start of the tree so we have our object and what i'm doing is i'm using that named attribute that vertex group and anything that is not that vertex group i'm dele deleting the geometry and that is producing this edge here i'm then converting that edge to a curve and then i'm filling that curve with an n-gon now the, the default is these little triangles here and they're very stretched and elongated and for my purposes, for my particular project, I'm conforming this um, topology to curvature. So this topology wouldn't work in that case. It'll just get skewed, which uh, yeah, not ideal. So I set this to ngon. I then take the result of this into a bounding box node and I'm subtracting the minimum and the maximum vector. So we're getting the dimensions of this particular bounding box and we're using a separate X, Y, Z to split out the X and Y components. And this is driving the size of the grid. So now we have a grid which matches the same dimensions as our NGON, as you can see. So now we wanna do something with this grid. What I want to do is and I'll just join these together so I can demonstrate what I mean. So anything that is not in contact with that ngon, we want to delete. And I also think it would be good to delete the border edges of this grid because I don't want to have any doubling up of, of points. I, I mainly want to isolate the interior points within that ngon. So how do we do this? Connect that back up again. Well, we can use a edge neighbors to get the border edge. And when the face count is equal to one, so this node is looking at any given edge. So let's just look at this one here. And we can see that it has one face neighbor. So using a compare node, we can set that to equal. And when it's equal to one, we get this result here. So we have an attribute for the border. Now to get the attribute of what is hitting it and what is not hitting it, we can use a raycast node. So by default, it's shooting in the negative Z. So we're shooting rays down, which will work in our particular case. If this uh, grid, for example, was you know lower, we would need to set this to positive one. So it'd be shooting upwards, but it just works in this, in this case. And what the Raycast node has the ability to do is to return a Boolean value, which is a hit or a miss. So anything that is not a hit, we want to store that attribute as well. So we have this. And this, I mean, the Raycast node on its own might do the job, but I, I added the border just as like a, a, a just to be sure that I'm getting rid of all those border edges. But you can see here that the Raycast is actually, it seems to be getting all of the borders as well. And so we then combine these, so or, so it can either be this one or this one. And we're feeding that into a delete geometry node. And this is the result that we get. Now we convert this mesh to points and we use a curve line and scatter that on the points, making sure that the curve line's Z dimension is zero, because I think by default it's one. So we instance those curve lines on the points and we can't see anything at this point here because they have no dimensionality. dimensionality. Then we realize the instances and then we join these with the original curve. So not the end gone, but the original curve. So you can't see it, but there's all those points inside here. And now when we fill the curve, we get that result, which is really, really nice. Really clean, evenly distributed topology. 
and we can also dynamically up res this. Now you may be asking yourself why did you go through all of this trouble and you, you could have just distributed points on this surface using um, uh, distribute points on faces and setting that to Poisson disk and then that will force the points to have a certain distance between them but the issue is when you're distributing points on faces is that the density setting so distribute points on faces the density setting has to be extremely high when an object is very small and it has to be very very low when an object is very large and so what that means is that if I want to have this consistent topology on an object which is both small and big we have that large discrepancy and when that value is super high the geometry node tree gets extremely slow so this is a more foolproof, me foolproof me method for um, remeshing 2D topology um, there is also the vol mesh to volume method to of remeshing but again that has a density setting that does not play well at both small and large uh, scales and this one also maintains the original n-gon topology as you can see we, we're keeping these points from the n-gon and what this means in my case is that I can use this um, topology as a boolean object because I'm making a um, like a a plug system where I can just insert de um, details like this into any mesh and so I can boolean a hole and I can fuse this object into that hole and I can ensure that these points are going to match with that boolean nicely. So that's just one use case for it. And that pretty much sums it up. A nice, simple, consistent remeshing of 2D topology. So I hope someone out there finds this useful. Thanks.